The public eye has certainly started taking an interest in the history of the royal family. Netflix's series The Crown has brought them back into focus, for better or for worse. The most recent season bringing Diana into the mix. But now The Princess of Wales is getting a new movie complete with a cast that might surprise you. Join me today as we take a look at what we know so far about the Diana-centric movie Spencer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Spencer centres around three pivotal days in Diana's life in the 1990s, and it is of course named Spencer after Diana's maiden name. The Crown most recently had Emma Corrin, and the upcoming season will have Elizabeth Debicki in the role. But who dares take on the iconic role this time around? None other than Kristen Stewart. Stewart definitely isn't the first actress to come to mind when you think Diana, but take a look at this first look image and tell me it's not uncanny. The hair and makeup team, not to mention the wardrobe, have done a spectacular job recreating the princess we all know and love. Now Stewart being an American will obviously have some work cut out for her with not only the accent but the instantly recognisable soft spoken voice of Diana, which I think will be a stretch for her considering the differences between their vocal range, but I have complete faith that Stewart would put the work in. She recently said in an interview with InStyle magazine that quote, I haven't been this excited about playing a part by the way in so long. She went on to say that the accent is intimidating as hell because people know that voice and it's so, so distinct and particular. Stuart says she's working on it now and already has her dialect coach. Having a breakout role in Twilight is hard to break free of, but co-star Robert Pattinson has managed to do it and I have been impressed by Kristen Stewart's recent roles, like in Underwater, where she basically carried the whole movie. But there was Charlie's Angels, which is one of the cringiest movies I've ever seen, but that wasn't Stewart's fault. But she must have caught the eye of director Pablo Lorraine. He has said in an interview with Deadline recently, quote, to do this well, you need something very important in film, which is mystery. Kristen can be many things and she can be very mysterious and very fragile and ultimately very strong as well, which is what we need, end quote. Lorraine also directed another film about another strong female figure, Jackie, the 2016 Oscar nominated biopic about the former first lady starring Natalie Portman. I feel like this movie will be in a similar vein, but obviously royal rather than political. Lorraine has commented on the royal family, saying, quote, I've always been intrigued and fascinated by the royal family and how things are in that culture, which we don't have where I come from. He goes on to say, Diana is such a powerful icon where millions and millions of people, not just women, but many people around the world, felt empathy towards her in life, end quote. So far, most of the cast and their roles are still under wraps. However, Sally Hawkins, Sean Harris, and Timothy Spall are confirmed alongside Stuart. Personally, I can't wait to see what the hair and makeup crew come up with for the other cast members, considering the excellent work we've seen already. But what will the movie actually be about? Well, it has been confirmed that it won't be based on her tragic death and instead on the unraveling of her fragile marriage to Prince Charles. The director said, quote, we decided to get into a story about identity and around how a woman decides somehow not to be the queen. She's a woman who, in the journey of the movie, decides and realizes that she wants to be the woman she was before she met Charles, end quote. Town & Country magazine have confirmed that the story will be set at Sandringham Estate, where the royal family spends the holidays. Over Christmas Eve, Christmas and Boxing Day, Diana will come to realise that her marriage to Prince Charles has come undone, and results in her re-evaluating the direction her life has taken. I have done a video on the life and death of Diana, so if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. But turning attention back to The Crown, the most recent season has covered this period of Diana's life in a less concentrated and broader perspective. But it is such a moving and tragic story that will be great to see with Diana center stage. Spencer has only just started production this year and no release date has yet been announced. However, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more updates as they become available. But what do you think of Kristen Stewart playing a member of the royal family? Who else would you like to see join her in the cast? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But be sure to subscribe for more videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.